can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, x plus xy plus y equals 666, our goal is to solve for all possible values of x plus y. Given that x and y are both integers, and also thanks to Ali for suggesting this question. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation, x plus xy plus y equals 666, wherein x and y are both integers, then our goal is to solve for all possible values of x plus y. Now, to answer this question, what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit on the left-hand side. So let's interchange xy and x like this. Now, why we do that? Because we will use what we call the Simon's Favorite Factoring Trick, or simply SFFT. Now, it involves adding a constant to both sides of this type of equation so that factoring by grouping can be accomplished on the left side of the equation. So, what we're going to do is to add 1 on both sides. Now, take note, 666 plus 1, this will give us 667. And now take note, the left-hand side of our equation, x, y, plus x, plus y, plus 1, is definitely factorable. Now, if we factor this, we get something like x plus y multiplied by y plus 1. Now, if we multiply this, we have x times y, this is x, y. x times 1, this is x, this will give us x. 1 times y, this will give us y. And 1 times 1, this will give us 1. So we go back to our original expression, x, y plus x plus y plus 1. By the way, let's go back to its factored form. So we will use this to solve this problem. Alright, now since we're looking for integer value for x and y, let's factor the 667. Now take note, 667 can be factored as 23 times 29. So we can now say that all possible factors of 667 must be equal to positive or negative 1, positive or negative 23, positive or negative 29, or positive or negative 667. Now, we will use this fact to answer this question. Alright. Now, what we're going to do is to make some tables. And on this table, we have here x plus 1 and y plus 1. Those are the factors that when we multiply, we get something like 667. Alright, so x plus 1 or y plus 1 can be these factors. Can be 1 and 667. x plus 1 can be negative 1 and y plus 1 can be negative 667. And when we multiply this, we get 667 or positive 667. Alright, and it doesn't matter what is the value of x plus 1 and y plus 1 because don't forget our goal. Our goal is the sum of x plus y. Alright, so now, let's solve for the value of x. Now, we know x plus 1 must be equal to either 1, negative 1, 23, or negative 23. So, to get the value of x, what we're going to do is to subtract 1 on both sides of our equation. So, if we subtract 1 on our equation, this will give us x. This becomes 0 because we have here... 1 minus 1, this will give us 0. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. 23 minus 1 is 22. Negative 23 minus 1 will give us negative 24. Now, we will do the same thing to solve for the value of y. So, y plus 1 equals 667 or negative 667 or 29 or negative 29. So, to solve for the value of y, let's subtract 1 again on both sides of our equations. If we do that, we have y here. We have 667 minus 1, 666. Negative 667 minus 1 is negative 668. 29 minus 1 is 28. Negative 29 minus 1 is negative 30. Like this. And don't forget that our goal here is to solve for the value of x plus y. So let's do that. So let's have some column and let's have the sum 
of x and y. So again, it doesn't matter if x is 666, y is 0. When we add this, we get the same sum. All right? Now, 0 plus 666, this will give us 666, of course. Negative 2 plus negative 668, this will give us negative 700. 22 plus 28, this will give us 50. And the last one, negative 24 plus negative 30, this will give us negative 54. And take note that we want just the sum of x plus y. And here we go. We have 666, negative 700, 50, and negative 54. Therefore, our answer to this question given by Sir Ali, solve for the value of x plus y given this equation x plus xy plus y equals 666 and our answer is 666 negative 750 or negative 54. And as always, we are done.